Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to make a 2D platformer. Let's get started. The first thing we need is our 2D camera. Let's go to starter character scripts and insert a local script. Let's rename it to local camera handler. Once this has been done, we can start with our script. The first thing we need to do is get a, a run service. We also need the character, which is uh, script.param because this is starter character script. We also need our camera, and the camera is under workspace, so workspace.current camera. Let's make a local function called start, where we set the camera's camera type to enum.camera type dot scriptable, so we can change its C frame. We can also create a new local function called update, and in here we can also we can also get the humanoid root part. So it's character wait for child humanoid root part, and here we can do cam dot C frame equals C frame dot new HRP dot position plus vector three dot new, and then the offset you want. So I'm gonna do zero, uh, three and maybe 25. Let's see what that looks like. So we can go and see. Oh, of course, uh, I forgot to first run the start function and then do uh, run service dot render step connect update. Let's see. Okay, so now we have our camera as you can see, it follows me only like 2D, but I can still walk like this, which is kind of odd. So we are going to go to the players and go to yourself, open up player scripts and copy everything inside. Then you can stop, go to starter player scripts, paste them all in, go into the player module, open the control module, go to keyboard and scroll to this location right here. Handle move forward, handle move backward, and remo remove them both. And now let's go down and take these four lines and remove them. Now we can go back, click play. So I can walk uh, this uh, to the right, to the left, but I cannot walk, I cannot use W, w or S. So now we have our 2D controls, so we can start building our map. So let's just insert a part. Let's just put it something like this. Put it like this. And just drag it all out so we can see it. I'm gonna anchor it. Set the color to green maybe. Let's see if it's on the correct axis. Yeah, but it's the wrong way. So I'm just gonna go back and drag it to the other side. There we go. So we now have the start of our platformer. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. There we go. And we can also add some obstacles. So I'm just going to insert a new part. Let's see, uh, 0.5 and put it like this over the entire thing. I'm going to set the color to red. I'll set anchor to true and can collide to false. I can insert a script and then do script.parent.touch to connect function hit if not b then db equals true we can go up, go up here look db equals false oh actually first we need to do if hit not parent find first child humanoid then and then we can do this then hit dot parent uh, dot humanoid take damage Dot parent dot parent dot humanoid dot health. We can rename the script to kill handler. And over here, task dot weight maybe like 0.5, and then db to false. Let's see what it looks like now. Okay, I will go over and okay. So I died. That's too bad. 
let's see if I can do it on the second try. And yeah, I can. So we can actually just duplicate this one a few more times. There we go. Oh, that's what, that, um, let's see. Yeah, that looks better. And we can also insert some more things. For example, we can insert a uh, disappearing part or a moving part. Actually, let's go, go over here. Let's um, create a part, a square. So 12 by 12. There we go. We can use the normal tools as well. It doesn't matter. I'm going to copy the color, set the anchor to true. I'm going to create a new model for it by right clicking and the group as a model. I'm just going to call it a moving platformer. And now I'm just going to take this part, copy it, drag it all the way up uh, here. I'm going to set its name to end. I'm going to copy this bottom part and du duplicate by control D. And then I'm going to set the name to start. So now we have a end and start. And we also have a platform. So let's rename the um, last part to platformer. We can copy and um, take this part, set the transparency to one set can collide to false so we, now we have just one part i'm going to copy this over here i'm going to drag it all the way up let's see uh the end is there the okay one more there we go i'm just gonna like this okay so now let's go into the moving platformer and let's create a script called platform handler First, we need to get tween service. We also need to get the end. Oh, sorry. End part. End part. And start part. Start. Okay. We also need to create a tween info. So, this is the amount of time the platformer should take. I'm just going to set it to three seconds. I'm going to set the style to linear, the easing direction to in out, repeat count minus one so it goes on forever, reverses true, and delay time, let's say one second. And local tween, equal tween service. And actually, we don't even need the start part, you can just remove it. The start part, remove. So tween service create, and then get that parent dot platformer, ti. Position equals end part dot position and then tween play. Now we can go back and see how it looks. As you can see, the platform is moving up and down. There we go. It goes up and down. So that's pretty good. And we can of course just make another one if we want to but this time i want this to be kind of different look at this so i'm gonna copy it i'm just gonna put it up here there we go and now i'm gonna copy this kill handler and copy it into the platformer and set the color oh, wrong sorry wrong platform actually uh, this one this one up here let's see uh platform there we go there we go, set the color to red. So now we have this killing part that we have to dodge. I'm just gonna take both of them and just scale them down like this. So there we go. Let's see now. Jump, jump, jump. Go on this platform. As you can see, we have this flying part that I have to dodge. So, there we go. And if I now go back, oh, I'm dead. So that's how you make a platformer. So thank you guys for watching my video. Have a nice day.